All right, Dad. So uh, I thought I'd make you a video to show you how to use this Clonezilla thing. Hopefully, uh, it will be of use to you. But uh, so in order to do this, it's what you, you first uh, find the file that you downloaded using the link I sent you. Mine's right here. And once you have the file, um, simply right mouse click on it and say "Burn Disk Image," and then just make sure you have a CD and the disk drive that you have and then just click burn and it's oops sorry and it's going to uh burn make it make a bootable disk for you out of that image so uh better than bore you while this is doing this I'm just going to pause for now and I'll come back when it's finished Alright Dad, so I'm going to use VirtualBox to show you how to use Clonezilla so I can keep this recording going. So here's VirtualBox and I have a an XP machine set up and then a blank one set up so I can restore the image that we're going to create and show you how that works. So basically I'm going to start my XP machine to show you what an, it works just like an XP computer. Let me make sure I have okay I have my external hard drive connected just so that so it can use it as the repository for the disk image so now I'm going to reboot and this time I will tell it to boot using the disk drive so we will reset and it should boot up using clonezilla now so this is basically you putting the disk in your drive and booting from the disk drive on your computer and this screen comes up like this then just select the first setting like that Just running a little slow right now. Okay, so then it's going to boot through the process like this. It takes a little bit of time. So, what I recommend you do is make sure you have like an external hard drive plugged into your USB port so that it can store the image on something outside of your computer that way it'll be safe if you have two hard drives you could store like your operating system image on your ex extra hard drive if you wanted to so once this comes up I just always hit enter here and not worry about changing that since English is what we use and I don't touch the key map and then it's going to continue to then you boot up and then you just say start clonezilla and you want to work with the disk or partitions using images so just select that first one you want the local uh, devices so you just select that and now it's going to show you what drives it finds after you hit enter and I think you're familiar with this using Linux it's going to find the hard drives and the external USB drive that I have connected to the computer So the trick is when you're using this is to know which disk is what because you have to select it as your rep the repository where the disk image you want to store it for safekeeping. So here's a list. My external hard drive is called the free agent drive right here. So this is where it's going to store the disk image that I want to save where I want to where I want to save the disk image to. So I'm going to hit enter here. 
and now it's going to show me a list of directories on that drive and it found the problem so it's trying to fix that first okay so here's all the directories on my external hard drive so I'm going to go to disk images and hit enter and it says okay this is the the usage on the disk hit beginner we want to save the whole disk and this is what we want to call the image now this is really cool because like on my computer I have two hard drives installed on my computer and I can actually select both of them and it will create the images in one directory for both of those so like I could put if both my hard drives crashed I could put new hard drives in there restore this disk image and both hard drives will be exactly like they were with one use of re clonezilla restoration so you have to make sure you select the disk that you want hit the space bar for instance and it has an asterisk that knows which this is the disk for the image that you want to save onto your external hard drive so basically this is your computer desktop hard drive here that you want to save onto your USB drive and press enter and you can t say whether or not you want to check the source file system I'm going to skip that and I usually check the saved image just to make sure it is okay and then you press enter and it's going to say are you sure you want to do this yes I am sure I want to do this and then it goes through this and we'll start to save the image in this cool little graphic like this and it's going to continue for a while like my system it takes about four hours to do but it's certainly a lot quicker than restoring a system from scratch as we talked about now you don't have to down re-download re all the updates and all that stuff which takes like two days of work so um, okay so this is progressing so rather than bore you with this I'll come back when it's finished and show you what that looks like alright dad so this is what it looks like when it's done saving the image and um, I'll just hit enter to continue and then now you'll just uh, reboot probably whatever you want to do I'm going to power off because I don't want to use this machine anymore for right now alright so that is shut down now I'm going to start my blank machine and see what happens. Alright, so here is my clonezilla again. I'm going to change the settings so the screen will be bigger to 224 by 768 so like I'm saying this is the blank machine where like it's got a blank hard drive there's no operating system whatsoever so I'm going to restore the previous image onto this computer and then reboot it and all should be well.
So basically, you just start this process the same as you did before, where you get it uh, to read the local disk and all that. I messed something up here. Oh, I think this is right. Then I hit OK. Waiting for it to fix that problem it keeps having when it changes from Windows into this virtual box setting. Okay. Close the image just right here. Okay, this is where we want to go restore disk right here. So we're going to restore disk. And this is the image we want to restore. That's the one I saved. The 2013 February 26. And then this is would be your hard drive or your computer that you're going to restore to. Am I sure I want to continue? Yes. Yes. Because if you make you know if you mess this up, it would overwrite your whole hard drive if it was the wrong hard drive. So it's a good thing they ask you that. All right. So similar screen to the one that you saw when it was saving the partition and the image and now it's restoring the image so again I'll just uh, pause for now and wait for this to get finished and come back and we'll reboot it and see if it works alright so here we are we're done at the end of the restoration of the image so we'll press enter and we will reboot by selecting one, pressing enter. All right, Dad, so uh, that's the video. I hope it proved to be helpful to you. If you have any questions, just give me a call or shoot me an email. I love you, Dad, and take care.